Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Fallen Angels. Now, I've already scouted my path out, and I've chosen my team. And this is the team I'm going in with. You'll notice that I am bringing in Omega Red uh, instead of Nick Fury. Uh, I believe my Nick Fury is in a queue at this time, but there was another reason, and you'll see that reason, uh, Path 2, Section 2. So look at the difficult defenders I have to deal with on Section 1. Yep, they didn't put any defenders on Path 2 in Section 1. All right, so I'm like, well... You know, I'm looking at this Iron Man Infinity War and I know I can get two charges off of him. He's a tech champion and he's also an Avenger, but he's not cleared. I got Corvus. So I'm going in here full of confidence. All right. I don't like that arc overload thing. So that's why I'm just waiting it out a little bit. Okay. Now, now we're going to do a little something. All right, now, what you saw me do right there, bank against the wall, and then parry, that is one of the easier ways to re-parry Iron Man Infinity War. All right, I wanted to do that because uh, there are some cases where you want to go back to that wall and do just that. Evade his first, because um, they are a projectile, and then parry the second. So, as you saw, we didn't have any problem. We didn't really need to use that method, but I wanted to do that just to keep in practice and to show you guys uh, one way. If you're not good at reparrying him um, straight up, then go to the corner, evade, parry, and then counter. All right, so that was section one done. And you can see they also took out that uh, mini there. So I didn't get a lot of fights in uh, this war. Just the defenders weren't there. And uh, they had already cleared that off. So now in section two, I'm going to be dealing with Domino. Now, me and Domino have a love-hate relationship. And I really didn't like fighting her. And if you guys remember old school war, I was looking for her to get some revenge. And uh, when I did finally get revenge, she crit failed me and I ended up losing again. I was so upset. And uh, then they changed the maps, added nodes. Um, now, Warlock can easily handle Domino. However, Corvus also can handle Domino and I'll get a charge because she's a mutant. All right, and you see how I'm trying to basically bait her out, her medium, and then counter like that? That's really what you want to do with Domino. You don't want to try to parry. Uh, just wait for her to dash and evade and immediately counter because her dash, her medium attack, is a double hit. She can't recover fast enough. Now you're going to see why I brought Omega Red. That Korg right there. I looked at my paths before I went in, saw him, and said, oh, yes, Omega Red. So uh, I was always given the uh, Korg paths in AQ. Uh, I would bring in my Havoc and just tear him up. Now, he caught me there, and that's a little bit of a dangerous thing. If you keep evading and he is not forthcoming, with his attacks, then you can get backed into the corner and trying to evade is just gonna keep making him do that and you're gonna just be in a loop. So what you have to do if you find yourself in that situation, um, other than trying to avoid getting yourself in that situation, uh, but if you find yourself in that situation, you're just gonna have to hope you have the health, take the hits, just keep blocking, and then eventually you're gonna be able to counter. That's all you can do, all right? Um, we've got Stubborn to deal with here as well, so he's not quite as straightforward. All right, and you see there he's getting indestructible charges, so I have to take a blocked hit or parry 
in order to get rid of his indestructible so that I can actually do damage. All right, so we're just basically uh, slow playing it a little bit here. You can see I'm just blocking, not trying to do anything crazy. All right, that time I did uh, Dex, and see, this is the trouble. Now, we're fine because he fired off his special one. If he had decided to back me into the corner, I would have just gotten wrecked. But usually, you don't have to worry about him throwing his specials. Um, I've not had him refuse to throw his specials uh, on me. All right, so at this point, I know we, we got him. There we go, baited out that one just so I can um, give him a couple of love taps here. One, two, three, and he's down. All right, so that was Korg. Not too difficult. He used to be really, really tough when he first came out. I had no end of trouble uh, with him. But as I was waiting here for this Darkhawk to um, be free, uh, I think, I don't remember if Backup did it, but when I came and I checked back, Darkhawk was down and Mini Boss Island was clear. They, they cleared it off. All right, um, I, I believe that's what happened. Uh, one of the drawbacks to doing these kinds of videos um, after the fact, this is War 3, but we're already at War 6. So I'm going back to do these. And I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, that's what happened. Uh, they had already cleared it out. I'm not sure. Um, I think it was pretty quick. All right, but anyway, we're gonna uh, have a little intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately we lost this war. I believe it's the first war uh, of the season that we've lost, but it's all good. We'll get them again another time. That's gonna do it guys. Uh, congratulations to Fallen Angels. Uh, good playing. Well done. Uh, so take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.